Live Golf star Taylor Gooch really has had the most unlikely of career trajectories. From being his high school valedictorian, to playing baseball, to winning the 2021 RSM Classic, many people don't know much about Gooch. So stick around as we dig into everything there is to know about Taylor Gooch. If there's one thing about Taylor Gooch that has followed him throughout his life is that he's a lorry load of talent. While it is agreeable that Taylor has got golf embedded in his veins, he wasn't always stuck on the golf course. He's dabbled in a number of other sports, but we'll get back to that. Why? Because golf is his first love. In fact, his parents started noticing his talent for the game when he was just six years old. Taylor was born in Midwest City, Oklahoma on November 14, 1991, to his mom Amber and his dad Ron. He grew up with both his parents and his sister Cassidy in Oklahoma. It wasn't much of a surprise for his dad when his son turned out to have an inclination for sports. That's because Taylor's father, Ronnie Gooch, wasn't just a regular athlete, but was a four-sport star back in the day. He played as a quarterback on the football team, a point guard on the hardwood, an Oklahoma All-State baseball infielder, and even won a state championship in wrestling. Impressive, right? Baseball coach Don Parham later recruited Ron to Southeastern Oklahoma State University. After a stellar college career, he was drafted by the Texas Rangers and played five years in the minor league. He definitely was a promising athlete who could have gone on to play for even longer, but he suffered several injuries that ended his baseball career. After that, he returned to Southeastern in the mid-1980s and earned bachelor's and master's degrees in education, and eventually became a teacher and a coach. On the other hand, Taylor's mom, Amber, holds a law degree from the University of Oklahoma. With a stellar example already set by his father, Taylor also played baseball for a bit. However, baseball didn't hold his interest like golf did. Note this, Taylor was just three years old when he started going to the golf course with his father. Ron had taken on golf after his baseball career ended, and whenever he would swing the golf bag over his shoulder, ready to leave for a round, Taylor was always keen to accompany him. By age six, he had started playing, and by age nine, this kid was winning tournaments. He was just nine when he won the U.S. Kids Golf World Championship, but he didn't stop there. Three years later, when he was age 12, Taylor played in the Little League World Series with his dad coaching. It's no surprise that he and his dad have a wonderful relationship to date. His father is even one of his idols. Taylor admitted his dream foursome team would include himself, his dad, Kelsey Klein, a counselor at the University of Oklahoma's golf team summer junior camp, and Steve Ball, his teenage years golf coach. Taylor went on to have his high school education at Carl Albert High School, and even there, he continued his golf success. Even off the course, Taylor was a star and actually graduated from his high school as the class valedictorian, a genius on and off the course. When it was time for college, he considered attending Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Stanford, but eventually opted to play collegiate golf at Oklahoma State University. Let's just say it was a very good decision. In his freshman year, he started all 13 of the squad's events and tied for 51st place at the Olympia Fields Fighting Alini Invitational with a 223 total. The following year, he was named a first-team All-Big 12 selection and tabbed as a Ping All-Central Region selection. He also tied for 13th place at the Golf Week Conference Challenge and posted scores of 71, 77, and 70 for a 2 over 218 total. But as good as this sophomore year looks, Taylor Gooch did one better in his junior year, being named an honorable mention All-American by Golf Weekly. He was also chosen as a Ping All-Region pick and named First Team All-Big 12 pick, having tied for second place in the U.S. Collegiate Championship at 3 under 213 with a 68, 71, and 74. He graduated from Oklahoma State in 2014 and turned pro that same year. He worked his way up consistently on the McKenzie Tour in Canada and the Corn Ferry Tour, where he won the 2017 New Sentinel Open. Gooch also played on the PGA Tour Canada in 2015 and 2016, having the best second finishes at the 2015 Sincrude Boreal Open. His 23rd place finish late in 2016 at the Web.com Tour Qualifying Tournament earned him a place on Web.com Tour in 2017. That was one of his best years as he finished sixth on the regular season money list to earn his PGA Tour card. Having participated in several pro tournaments, Gooch won his first PGA Tour event at the RSM Classic in Seattle.
Sea Island, Georgia, in November 2021. By the beginning of the following year, he got the highest ranking on the official World Golf Rankings as the world number 31. Not bad, not bad at all. But just some months later, in May 2022, Taylor got into quite the controversy by defecting to the Live Golf Series from the PGA Tour. That move got him banned from the PGA and other tour-related tournaments. What most people didn't even know is that Taylor had initially planned to just play a single London event for Live and then go back to the PGA Tour. But it turns out you can't have your cake and eat it too, so the PGA Tour demanded he choose a side, a decision that he took more time to make than the PGA deemed fit, so he was suspended, compelling him to go all in with Live. The golfer signed a two-year contract with the Live for the 2023 and 2024 seasons, with an option of extending the contract if he finishes at a certain point in individual standing. Gooch also has a unique non-relegation clause until after the end of the 2025 season. This is uncommon in most agreements, but the extra clause makes sense since Taylor didn't precisely plan his defection. With the pay, though, it doesn't seem so bad. Taylor has made over $10 million playing with the saudi back franchise and is one of the breakaway tour's highest paid players. Note that he's made that in just under a year that he spent on the Live Golf Series. For comparison, between 2017 and 2022 on the PGA Tour, he made just over $9 million in total earnings from tournament payouts. Fair to say that with this recent contract with Liv, Taylor's pretty much settled for life. While golf is a highly lucrative sport, a considerable portion of Taylor's $10 million net worth comes from endorsements and sponsorships. These deals are with some of the major brands, including Callaway Golf, Titleist, Easy Post, Janney King Towel, Levelware Golf, Leo Cybersecurity, and Flight Golf, among many others. Taylor is sure raking in the dough. You should know that Gooch has a very impressive taste when it comes to spending all that money he makes. An example is his exquisite mansion in Oklahoma. One of the things you'd notice in Taylor's mansion is his floor-to-ceiling glass-encased wine locker that would rival any of the city's finest steakhouses. The walls are filled with bottles of limited edition Dom Perignon and aging Napa cabs. That's right, Taylor loves his wine. His incredible collection of wine isn't just a habit, though. It actually started with the wine tasting classes he had to take as electives at Oklahoma State University. We learned about the winemaking process for the first couple of weeks, and then we just drank a bunch of wine after that, he once explained. It seems the class stuck with him more than he's willing to admit. Apart from playing golf and drinking expensive wine, Taylor also enjoys watching football, and his favorite team is the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, and you notice the oddly spelled name. It should be Taylor, right? Well, quick cultural lecture for you. It's not a mistake, but the absence of the letter Y in his name is due to a family custom. Taylor once explained, my mom's side of the family just spelled names weird, and so they just wanted to keep the tradition going. Taylor isn't the only one with an oddly spelled name in his family. The culture is why his sister's name is spelled Cassidy with an I rather than a Y at the end, and his mother's name is Amber, written as A-M-B-R-E. Sure, it looks cool, but the golfer admitted that the unique spelling is not as fun for him, at least not in his books. Nothing special other than they wanted to make life hard on me, I guess. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, a little bit. And that's why his daughter's name doesn't have any modifications. Wait, Taylor Gooch has a daughter? Yep, and we'll get to that in a bit. Speaking of weird traditions, Taylor actually uses a quarter from the 1960s as his ball marker and has been doing that for a while. Now, how about that daughter of his? Well, we have to say that for a golf star, Taylor is quite good at keeping aspects of his life private. So good that you may not even know that he's married. But he married his longtime girlfriend, Ali Gooch, in 2019. The couple dated for several years before tying the knot in December of 2019. The pair held a lavish wedding with family and friends and have been living happily together since then. Together, the couple has a daughter named Collins. In May 2020, Taylor and his wife launched their cookie business venture called The Modern Cookie. They don't have the most attractive social media presence, but we're sure they like it that way. Well, what interests you the most about this dude? Let us know in the comment section. Remember to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and enjoy our other videos.